Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Now that we've finished saving a high pool, it's time to go to the Ag Center. And, well, I guess, see what's left. They're, uh, they're definitely not doing too well. I'm not sure if anybody's gonna be left alive. But regardless, I do need to go there to attach the repeater unit, so... Let's go. Raiders. <laughs> There's a 100% chance to be successful if I try to run. Eh, let's take it. Get some extra XP. I'm assuming these are the weaklings with about 15 hit points. 12? 12, 14. Yeah, these things are. These people are weaklings. I'm not gonna bother to be too tactical. Hey guys! They don't see me. Okay, I guess we get a free shot. In that case, let's not waste too much ammo. Let's switch to the pistol. Well, let's not switch everybody to the pistol. Just you. Uh, okay. Well, so much for that. Don't spook the herd. Huh? What herd? I ain't seen no cows. Will they actually climb a ladder? Also, what the hell is this dude doing? <laughs> he just looks really funny. <laughs> he looks really uncomfortable. Does he even have a weapon? It kind of looks like he's just pointing with his finger up at me. Like, there, I see you, citizen. Come down from there. You damn whippersnappers. You know, I, I actually kind of want to back everybody up and just see if they come up the ladder and then just, like, shoot them as they do come up. Nah, fuck it. Whatever. Eh. Alright, fine. I guess we'll use the sniper ammo. Actually, no. Everybody's in cover or out of sight. Oh no, you're not. Goodbye. You're dead. Let's move you back a bit. Come and get a candy ass! This guy's the real problem. These guys, they can't even hit me. But this dude... Mm. Alright, let's put you there. Get ready to flank this guy. Actually, we can keep moving, can't we? For some reason, I can't move here. Uh, I don't really know why, and apparently this is not in cover. For some bizarre reason. Yeah. Whatever, I'll leave you there. Yeah, let's get everybody back, I guess. I'm kind of curious just what they're going to do. Are they going to climb the ladder? I guess we're about to see. There's not a lot of cover around here. Set you on ambush. Okay, they do climb the ladder. I wonder how much AP that costs. <laughs> the camera didn't even, didn't even bother to stay for his full death animation. It's like, yep. We know. He's a weakling. Alright, I don't need to overthink this one. You're dead. Oh. Did you really expect to hit me? Actually, you know, hmm. I just realized something. I know there's a, a bonus to being on higher ground. But is there a negative to being on lower ground? Does it work in reverse? Do you have a lower chance to hit somebody if they're on a higher ground, or is it just a bonus to the person that has higher ground? I don't know. Either way, you're dead. 
You really? What? What? You just. You could have hit my sniper in the back, but you chose to, <laughs> to expose your back to a group of five people. Okay. That makes sense. I'm not gonna waste ammo on you. Well, okay, I'll waste a little bit. Three shots? Okay. Work boots. Yay. Make sure there's no hidden chests. No, we're good. Oh, hey, this is the same map where I died when I tried to go to Rail Nomads Camp. Except I spawned over here, remember? I fought those people with like 100 hit points here. Same map, different spawn point. Y'all may want to spread your combat skills out. Try giving your sniper and rifle wielders a point or two in a melee combat skill, in case a raider gets up in your face. I'm just gonna keep reading those like that. It's really fun for some reason. All, uh, all around you is the brown withered grass of the wastes. But before you, an impossibly dense, unnatural jungle spills from the Ag Center compound. Frogs croak and insects buzz in its depths. Tendrils of mist reach out from it like ghostly fingers. You've never seen trees so large in all your life. And then you realize those aren't trees. They're broccoli. Now, I remember when I came here before, not when I was playing while well, recording, but when I played the beta a little bit, I remember there was an explodey dude here. Now, I'm curious if all the enemies are still going to be left behind. You know, now that I didn't come here first, like, how... Are there going to be any enemies? No, we can top off our water here, I think. Mm, oh, a well without any water is just a hole in the ground. There's a... Hmm. Maybe it's because I didn't save the Axe Center. They don't have any water? I thought they said water. Oh, well. It's not that I... Not that I need it, but... It's eerily dark here. Oh, hello. There's a trap. Nope. Working tumbler. Okay, can't do computer science on that, but as somebody pointed out, something that I've been uh, missing is <clears throat> Angela's Brute Force skill. Perfect for knocking down walls and smashing stuff up. Yeah, I haven't been using this at all, so I think actually some of the stuff that's locked, if I can't open it, I could potentially use Brute Force to, you know, pry it open. Or alternatively, I could use explosives to blow up the safe. Although I don't want to do that unless I have a lot of explosives. I think they're too valuable. But, you know, if I get a large store of explosives, then, eh, why not? So yeah, I can't use computer science on this. No, so let's see if we can use brute force. You might not be able to do that on something like a safe. Maybe it's just doors and stuff. Yeah, you can't use it on safes. Okay, but still, good to keep in mind. And, I mean, it's got to have more uses than just, like, doors. It says, perfect for knocking down walls. Like, I've never seen a wall that I could knock down. I'm not, I'm not sure if they mean that literally, but I need to be on the lookout for uses for that skill. For some reason, whatever the hell is here just won't 
reveal itself. It's so it's so dark. Need a flashlight, I guess. This truck looks like it could drive through a bunker and keep going. The only thing that stopped it was time. Oh god. That's Kathy. Uh, can we still save you? She uses this limited mobility to give you the finger. Oh, well, I guess I'm reading the end part. You see movement in the vines. It's a woman, dark skin and high cheekbones, wearing the ragged remains of a white lab coat over jeans and a t-shirt. A vine has her in its clutches and appears to be crushing her to death, slowly. She's battered and bloody from head to toe and can only move her right arm and hand. <laughs> she uses this limited mobility to give you the finger. Can we help you? Um, surgeon? No. Alright, let's talk to her. What the fuck was the point of showing up now? Axe Center is destroyed. The cure is lost. And I'm about to be eaten by a fucking tree. We're doing our job, ma'am, answering your distress call. Is there even any point in explaining that? Uh, I, I, she's not going to take it well, it doesn't matter. She's getting eaten by a fucking tree and everybody's dead, so... Not a lot I could say to uh, turn her mind around, but we'll try. We were helping Ipul. We came as fast as we could. Not fast enough, jerks. God damn it, I thought... Accenter and Ranger Citadel had a deal. Wasn't it, we give you food and you give us protection? Well, you're looking pretty goddamn well fed. But we got our asses handed to us by killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a ranger in sight. Uh, killer tomatoes? And killer pumpkins! And killer fruit flies! All of a sudden, all our plants started growing out of control. Mutating. Exploding. Attacking my people. It's like they went rabbit or something. Let's not ask about her people being dead. Let's not dwell on it. Okay, what happened to the plants? We discovered that the plants were going insane because of some contamination in the fertilization system. Rapidly mutating fungal spores. Rose thought it was deliberate sabotage, but I'm not sure. Okay, I will say, when I played through this in the beta, it, it was sabotage. It absolutely was sabotage. In fact, I killed the person who sabotaged it. Just saying. Whatever it is, all the vegetation started growing out of control and mutating. The insects, too. They're enormous. And listen, this madness may have spread beyond Ag Center. You think it's spread outside? One of our researchers, a boy named Sue, fed some of our pigeons spore-infected seeds, and sent them off. I saw them on the monitors, but couldn't stop them. If those pigeons shit those seeds in other places, the infection will spread. The trouble is, I have no idea where the pigeons went. You're just gonna have to listen for trouble on your radios. Fucking pigeons and their shit. Goddamn. Birds are such an effective means of spreading uh, effective means of spreading seeds, aren't they? They eat the fruit, they eat the seeds, they fly really far away, they shit it out, and now you spread it everywhere. Oh my god, there's I I don't think I've ever had two rows of dialogue options. It's so big, I don't know if I can take it all. If you find the serum, save uh, save some for any distress calls you get. All right, fair enough. Tell me about the serum. Rose and I made up a big batch of the stuff and filled a spray gun with it. I tried to escape with it so I could come back when I was healed up and wipe out the infection, but I got chased by pod people and dropped it somewhere between here and the facility door. There's no curing Ag Center, but if you find any other areas that have been infected, you can drop it in their irrigation systems. Just find a big reservoir. 
What'd she use the pigeons for? We use them as backup when the radio isn't working. They carry messages for us to every community in the wastes. Only now I'm afraid they're carrying death. Got an opinion on Sue. Uh, what? Who, who's Sue? Who is Sue? Obviously you mentioned Sue at some point. Or did you? Uh, got an opinion on Sue? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, I just remembered. <laughs> um, an odd duck, that boy. And not just because of his name. We hired him on because of his passion and enthusiasm, enthusiasm, but he... he was very young and a bit sloppy in his methods. I'm afraid it's killed him, and maybe more than him. Anything you can tell me about those big-ass bugs? I saw a fruit fly as big as a bald eagle. It had a stinger like a fucking scimitar. Okay, wonderful. I'll just write that down on my notes. Mm, let's see. Scimitar... Bug. Fucking. Okay, got it. You think someone from Ag Center was behind this? I... I hope not. I don't want to think that anyone here would do this. We're a happy family. We all want the same thing. To make the wasteland green again. Oh yeah, so you discovered a cure. You're talking about the, the serum. We found a cure, but... Too late. Way too late. Matt was too far gone by then. Everybody was. Rose tried to take a canister of the serum to the nutrient reservoir tanks in the east greenhouse so we could feed it to the plants and stop their growth. But she didn't make it. A bunch of pod people blew her to pieces. Now that whole area is completely unreachable. Shit. Like, I don't want to sound like a bastard, but I really wanted Rose to be alive because she was a medic. I wanted her in my party, instead of Vulture's Cry. <sighs> Let's mourn for the medic that could've... could've been. What can you tell me about Ag Center? Matt built a great thing here. I know your rangers think you're the guardians of the future, but we were the ones that were gonna keep everybody from starving. Now it's ruined. It's gonna be a hungry future. Okay, I guess we'll finally get to the point, um, your people are dead? Matt and Rose and I managed to get to safety. But the researchers and the farmers... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Matt and Rose and I managed to get to safety. I thought you just said Rose blew up from pod people when she was trying to use the serum. What do you, what do you mean? I'm confused. Mm, researchers and the farmers, they'll watch them die one by one on the monitors while you butterballs are off... Some were circle jerking each other. <laughs> and for some of them, it was even worse. What do you mean, worse? You haven't seen them yet? They're wandering all through this jungle. Those were our people, our friends. And now they're... I don't know what they are. Pod people? How do they become pod people? I don't know how it works. Somehow the infection gets into their nervous system, changes their physiology, makes them lash out at any uncontaminated people around them. Okay, so tell me about Rose, because I thought she died. Rose was our best researcher, and my mentor. Helped me come up with a cure that stopped the plant mutations from spreading, but she got killed before she could distribute it. What a waste. Okay, so she did die. Okay, what about, what about Matt Forstall? No. Poor bastard got hit by shrapnel from one of those exploding pods, and now he's dead. Maybe if Dr. Larson hadn't disappeared, we could have saved him, but we were too late with the cure. Who was Dr. Larson? He was a godsend, is what he was. Not only was he a fine general practitioner and surgeon, he was doing great work in the field of fungal biology. He really expanded our areas of research. Now he's gone. We didn't see him again after the madness started. I suppose he's dead somewhere, like all the others. Tell me about the exploding pods. As if the rest of it wasn't enough, the plants also started to explode. We get too close to one of those red pods and bam, you're torn up by shrapnel. And worse, if you're not treated, 
The fungal spores start growing in your body until you turn into one of those pod people. Uh, none of you have been hit, I hope. No. <laughs> suppose that's a good thing. A little karma wouldn't have been so bad, though. I'll fuck you. Find that serum and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, <laughs> the very last thing is, we're doing our job, ma'am, answering your distress call. I could just say goodbye, but eh, let's do them all. <laughs> well, you might as well have stayed home. We've gone from distressed to deceased. Thanks to you, slowpoke assholes. Everybody's dead. Matt, Rose, all of them. And I'm next. You don't have to be. We can cut you out. No, stay back. The vines twitch if you hit them. Cut them and they'll crush me like an egg. Just leave me. Find the serum Rose and I made. Ag Center is lost. But you might be able to save any outlying areas that got infected. And yourselves if you get blasted by an exploding pod. I, I can't do anything to save her? Go on. Go. Find the canister of serum. Kill those damn plants. I... Oh god, it's contracting again. I... My ribs... I... Oh god, she's about to explode, isn't she? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> the last thing she said was, fuck you. Uh, was she talking to me or the plant? M maybe both. Rest in pieces. Literal pieces. Oh yeah, there's still some enemies here. Huh. I'm wondering how much it's worth it to explore this place. Like, I want to go through all of them just for, I mean, if nothing else, for the XP, but it sounds like the only thing I actually really need here. Well, hmm. I still need to do the radio tower. Which means I probably have to go fairly deep into here. And I certainly should get the serum. Since it sounds like I definitely might, probably, probably definitely will encounter more of these things. Alright, well, let's start moving in and see what we find. Yeah, so... These infected mega maggots. <laughs> and... Superfly! Hmm, do I want to use sniper ammo on them? They actually have a lot of health. Shit, did they, these things might have leveled up because I'm higher level now. Like, is there level scaling in this game? Because I don't remember these having 40 hit points each. Oh, you know what? They're probably... Hmm, they say infected. Like, I can't remember if they said infected when I played this before when I was playing in the beta. I think maybe the fact that I came here second has resulted in them being harder, but not because of level scaling necessarily. I think it might be because they're supposed to be like... I don't know, more evolved or something? I don't know. Whatever, they got a bunch of health, so let's open up with some sniping. Get everybody in a nice line so nobody shoots somebody else in the head. God, I feel so dumb to use a s sniper ammo on a freaking maggot. Well, let's see how we do not using any more sniper ammo. Let's just ambush with the pistol. Did you just miss twice with an 80-something percent chance to hit? Ah. Uh. Oh my god. What is wrong with you people? Alright, well I don't want to move over here because this thing's going to explode. Okay, this is a perfect use for a shotgun. You can easily hit both of these. Do I want to go here or here? Eh, let's go here.
Oh shit, are you kidding me? I can't, I can't hit this one without also hitting Theodore. God damn it. Wait a minute. Actually, I can, yeah, I'll just move. Is that gonna work? Alright, see if this works. There we go. <sighs> Missed the second one. Yeah, shotgun's actually a really good weapon for these enemies, because they like to group up and they're all kind of melee. And Oh, great. Lost control. She took cover behind a burning barrel. Thank you. That was very helpful. Probably have to worry about the infected superflies more than the infected mega maggots. Do I want to just bash on you? Sure. Come on, put your back into it. There you go. Helen, what are you doing, Helen? Serious friendly fire going on here. Try to put this thing out of its misery. Okay. Why does that keep disappearing? Oh, stop disappearing, please. Thank you. It seems to disappear if I aim too far out. I guess? Yeah. Huh. Honestly, the shotgun's not doing too well at actually hitting both enemies at the same time. Lucky crit. Do you have a secondary? I can't remember. No, you don't. Eh, just don't do anything. Don't worry about it. Helen actually hit something for once. Nice. Larva bite. Hm, it's a venom. That's not a big deal. She's gonna lose like five hit points. Eh, whatever. These things ain't got no loot. Alright, see if I can trigger this thing. Get away from it. There we go. Yeah, so you can either get near them and then run away, or you can shoot them. I believe they have... yeah, they got some exploding pod fragments, which are not worth much at all. I think they were used for a quest, when I played this before. Like, you need to collect a, collect a certain amount, and use them for research or something like that, so... When you're not doing that, then I don't think they're really worth much, but... That's yeah, something. Oh god! Jesus! <laughs> That's Helen's blood right there! <laughs> she took one point of damage and she just sprayed like a gallon of blood over those boxes. You feeling okay, Helen? You want some ibuprofen? A bicycle. The grass is devouring it. Hmm, what's up here? I actually never went up here before. These fans don't have any power. They creak and groan in the wind. It's really hard to see. Everything's so overgrown. This place is like a jungle. Wait, wait, what was that? Was that a trap? That was weird. Like, there's a perception thing. I don't know if that... Like... It doesn't seem to be trapped. I guess I'll just walk in. 
Okay, cool. I guess the perception skill is just telling me that things exist. Like a little hey, there's something here. Well, in this case, this one has a working tumbler and a trap. Yeah, just practice her trap disarming skills, even though I'm not actually going to be able to unlock it. I wish I could zoom in and see what's going on in here, but I can't see anything if I zoom in. No trap here. Four med packs, wow. Okay, nothing else here. Yeah, just a little bit of extra loot. Little detour. Oh shit, get away! I did not see those. Yeah, if I get hit by one of those, then I need to find the serum. There are some big-ass crops here, as you can see. Huge carrots, huge lettuce. Gigantic! The head of this cabbage would wear a size 99 hat. And it's still growing. Is that the radio tower? I don't think so. <laughs> Giant! These berries could bury you! And they're still growing! <laughs> oh, so I can't even get past that. Nope. Gotta stay there a little bit longer. I'm so going to get hit by one of these pods at some point. It's going to happen. Oh, whoa. Just blew up the fence. Well, I think we're having carrots for dinner. Actually, those aren't carrots. What are they, zucchini? Or, no, that doesn't make any sense, does it? They look kind of like carrots, except they're sticking out a bit, and they're green. Gargantuan. It's enough to make you cry. Is it? Jesus. My god. I could build a freaking home in that pumpkin. <laughs> Immense. It's the great pumpkin, and it's getting greater every second. Triggered the trap. Well, yeah. Mmm, eggplants. <laughs> if one of these fell on you, you'd be black and purple. <laughs> there we go. Blew up our exit. Alright, I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop looting them because I really don't think it matters. That man, something isn't right. Oh, Jesus, 70 hit points. Okay, yeah, so these these are the infected pod people. People that used to be people, but are no longer. They explode. They explode in your face. Which I just realized, since they're infected, that means if they explode in my face, we're going to be infected and we'll need the serum. Shit. No, 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 don't go that way. Don't go that way. Come, come here. Jesus. Let's go around. I want room. I'm going to take on that pod person with all of my people without having to worry about other enemies. I mean, it's going to happen. I'm going to get infected, but I'd like to avoid it as long as possible. Come on. Put a nice round in his head. F 
45 damage! Holy crap, was that a crit? Damn. I love snipers. Alright, who else is coming? I don't know what's coming, I'm just gonna... Ambush. Oh, there we go. Superfly! Okay, what, what are you doing? It's your turn, Superfly. Hello? Oh god, I think the game bugged out. It's the fly's turn, but nothing's happening. I can't even move the camera. I mean, I could spin it, but I can't actually move it. Because it's doing the thing where it focuses on the enemy, because the enemy's still doing his turn. Shit. Well, okay then. Guess I'll load my last save game. It's annoying. Oh, my first one missed this time. Did it bug out again? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Let's not go there. Jesus. Fucking bug superfly. Sorry, superfly. But wait, this is the front of the compound, isn't it? Yeah, and the serum is supposed to be somewhere here. Uh. Okay, let's try killing the bug. The, the, no pun intended, the bugged bug. Let's try just going straight for it. Let's. Come around its ass. Let's shoot it in the ass. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Ow. Nobody detected a trap when I right-clicked it. Guess I need a better perception skill. Oh, wait, it's because Helen... Is it because Helen wasn't close enough, or...? Because it just did a thing. I don't know. Now, oh, Yulia's actually quite hurt. Oh, there's another. Infected. Let's move my snipers a little bit back, so hopefully any enemy will go to somebody else first. Let's all take to the knee. Twenty-eight? Lame. Aww. Mm. Alright, come on, other fly, don't bug out. Okay. It doesn't bug out when it moves this way. Thank God. Okay, I'm not gonna be hitting both of these. Got a Theodore in the middle. Y 
you know, I might want to ambush for the pot person, actually. Yeah, I do. The pot person's going to move next. I should probably try to ambush it. I want to kill it before it gets too near. Let's do it. Fucking hell. I don't even have enough AP to unjam. Wonderful. Just fucking run. It's The pod's gonna explode. Just run. It's already too close. Oh, eh? Okay, it actually stopped. That's good. 39%? It's because she's surrounded, isn't it? Yep, under pressure. Under pressure! Minus 45%. And to move anywhere costs 3 AP because I told her to take a knee. You know what, I'm gonna stop telling people to go on their knees because it seems to be a very bad idea. All right, 39%, uh, sure. Oh, wow, nice. I'm impressed. Dear God, please kill it. Oh. <laughs> Actually, we got a bunch of people that are gonna have their turns before, before it comes at us next. Okay. Whew. It's a pretty big explosion radius, too. Alright, that one doesn't even know we're here, so... Superfly says, Bzzz. Okay, they don't do too much damage. They have a significant amount of health, but yeah, they don't do too much damage. Oh, thank you for lining up for me. Although, uh, because she took a knee, she can't move over here and shoot at the same time, which means if I want to hit them both, I'm going to have to hit three of my teammates, which is a bad idea. And I, I just can't hit them, can I? Well, shit. Alright, just... Hang out there. <laughs> now you're useless again, Harper. Useless for the entire fight. Oh no, the other one is coming. Shit. Mm, do I ambush? Let's see, the flies are going to have their turns first, so if I ambush, it's just going to hit the flies, not the pod, dude. So... 12 AP. Wow, she could actually shoot three times if she didn't have to move. It's a terrible chance to hit. Uh, probably better to move here and then, yeah. Thirty-nine percent chance. That's terrible. I'll take it. Forty percent. Yeah, minus forty-five percent hit chance. She's too damn close. Oh, why my people got to be panicking? I mean, I could move, which might get her out of it, but then she'd probably shoot Yulia in the back of the head. I got two people before the pod person comes up. I should probably just kill this thing, I guess, right? Is the pod person going to get close enough for this to actually take effect if I try to ambush? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose it will. Yeah, fuck the superfly. Let's do some ambushes. Alright, 
come on. Two ambushes are going to trigger. Definitely not going to kill it, but it should do a decent amount of damage, or it's going to do four. Okay. Mm, go stand in the toxic waste. Oh, did she? Oh, fuck. I didn't even see it. All right, we need the serum. She's infected. Okay, she's not panicking, so even though the bug is right here, forget it. Or, wait. Oh, no, she is. She's... Wait, she's only panicking when she has the pistol out? Or, no, she's only not panicking when she, when she has the pistol out. Like, look, there's something here, and then I swap, and then it's here. Well, let's do that. She has an even worse chance to hit? Oh, she's still panicking, and now she isn't on her... She isn't crouched. Well, fuck. Fuck you! Ah! Alright, we get a bunch of turns before the spot person goes. We got it. Alright, that should be far enough away, right? Yes, thank you. How do you miss with a shotgun? God, that damage is so bad. Oh no, it's too close! Too close to Yulia. Yulia's gonna get ex exploded. Okay, now we can move pretty far and then shoot, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and move here. There we go. Oh, wait, no, I don't think she got hit. She was just out of range. Even though the mist completely enveloped her. She's okay. Oh, yeah. Now we gotta deal with you. Yes, these enemies are way harder than they were before if you if you come to the Axe Center first. It makes sense. It's not really level scaling, but it kind of is. Oh, shit. That was a bad place to move. Well, this is awkward. Okay, let's try this. Plan B. <laughs> that was effective. Yeah. Well, she lost control, but she did what I would have done if I was actually in control of her, so that's fine. Friendly fire possibility here. Let's move. Okay. My god, that fight lasted an eternity. You know, even if I can go through this entire place and fight enemies just to gather XP, I don't want to. Like, this is just gonna... It's, it's gonna eat up too many resources. That took so many bullets, I can't keep doing this. Like, they don't drop ammo. Unlike the raiders, they don't drop ammo. Wait, did the raiders even drop ammo? They did, didn't they? I think so. Um, either way, bugs obviously do not. So, yeah, I'm just gonna run out if I keep fighting them. Hey, 
Infected pus sack. Mmm. Stick that in our sacks. Our storage sacks, that is. Ew, that sounded weird. Oh yeah. Level up. Copy, Echo One. Yeah, congrats. Okay, not gonna upgrade your combat skills. So, what shall we do? Well, now that Rose is dead and she was going to be my medic, um, maybe I should upgrade one of your medic skills. <laughs> Although we do have 36 pocket medic bags, so yeah, maybe that's not that big of a deal. Hmm. More chance to hit for everybody would be nice. An extra 2%. For nearby allies. And less chance to go rogue. Kiss asked that. Don't care about the medic skills too much. Maybe I should. Maybe I should care about them. I don't know. Hmm. I'm thinking either leadership or kiss ass. I just can't decide. Let's do leadership. Alright, the serum is supposed to be somewhere around here. It must have been used for stamping grape... For stamping grape must. Not as fun as the petal process, but maybe more efficient. Stamping grape must. St I, I don't... Even know what that means. Stamping grape must. Huh? Do you even English? Alright, wasn't it between her and the entrance? So it should be somewhere around here. Somewhere outside. Looking around outside. Oh god, giant rabbits. <laughs> oh, let's make this thing explode. <laughs> yeah. I infected the giant rabbit that was already infected. Pro strats. They saw us? Oh, interesting. I thought because we couldn't go through this they couldn't see us through it, but it does make sense that they could see us through it. Well, shit. <laughs> We're all lined up in a row here. Yeah, these things are pretty weak. They've only got 20 hit points. I can't even get my people in there. Shit. Uh, do I try to shoot over Theodore's hands? Sure. That was a terrible idea! Why did you sh try to shoot over Theodore's hands? What were you thinking? Try it again. What were you doing? What? It Why did you do that? My god, whoever's in control of Helen is an idiot. Whoever is her commander is a complete jackass. Oh. <clears throat> Whoops. It's okay. Don't panic. It's nothing to worry about. All right, we gotta get get our people spread out here. Nice. That's a lucky shot, actually. It's like a thirty percent chance to hit. Vultures cry. Do you have any other weapon skills for close combat stuff? You don't. Oh my god, I really need to replace you. You're terrible. Probably shouldn't have even wasted the ammo. What? What are you... 
Okay, come on. Like, really? You're trying to hit that, and you aimed over, like, a foot to the right and hit her in the backpack? Come on! Like, what? what is wrong with you? Don't hit Yulia. She's on the ground. Just aim above her at the enemy. Okay, don't hit her. Can you do that for me? Thank you. Okay. Don't worry, Yulia. You're fine. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna spend points in the medic skill next. Because I'm gonna need to use like three of those to get her up to full health. Alright, good enough. Rabbit tail. Lucky. Well, I guess the paw's lucky. Close enough. Paw, tail, what's the difference? I see you hiding out there, pods. Pods of doom and death and gloom. What is that? Crushed can, glass shards, and junk parts. Huh? Did I, like, blow up a storage container? A lot of junk. Oh wait, that was a storage container, wasn't it? Oh, it was, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Another tumbler. Could blow it up. Still don't want to. Alright, where the hell is this serum? Oh, okay. Where is that serum? Um, I don't know, but I really need to find it. Because every single person is now infected. <gasps> I was trying to remember what she said about where it was, but then I just realized, like, if I wanted to go back and talk to her about it... I can't, because she exploded. Does it say anything about it here? No. Yeah. I really, really need to find that serum, don't I? And by the way, the effect of this is you have a very long amount of time. 14,000 seconds, in Theodore's case. But if you wait too long, you die. Or maybe turn into one of the pod people, I'm not sure. I guess those are kind of one in the same thing. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to find the serum before I ended the episode, but... I'm already looking at about an hour-long episode, and the serum could be very far away, for all I know. And these enemies take a very long time to get through. So, I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will attempt to find the serum to prevent everybody from turning into pod people and exploding.